Discovering Dragons, 15 Mythical Beasts from Legends Around the World. Hey everyone, today I'm taking a slightly different turn. Let's talk about dragons. Yes, those mythical beasts of fire, fury and folklore. But guess what? There's more to them than just the famous dragons we all know from popular stories. Did dragons really exist? Well, let's find out together in this exciting journey through the dragon lore of various cultures. Ready for an eye-opening adventure into the world of dragons. Welcome back to Freaky Facts, History's Oddities, where history's secrets come to light. Today's adventure is all about dragons, but not the ones you might be familiar with. We're going on a global journey, from the Middle Eastern deserts to the American shores, to discover some cool and lesser known dragons. Are you as excited as I am? The Dragon Enigma. Have you ever wondered if dragons could have been real? It's a thrilling thought, right? Blending mythology, paleontology, and human imagination, the idea of dragons has always fascinated us. While science says no to dragons like in the myths, there are some interesting theories and stories that could explain why almost every culture has its own dragon legend. Dinosaur fossils. One of the most popular theories suggests that discovering dinosaur fossils may have inspired dragon myths. Ancient people, upon finding these enormous and unfamiliar bones, might have imagined them as remnants of dragons. Misidentified creatures. Sometimes what people thought were dragon bones were actually whale bones or other large animals. And let's not forget how some real creatures like crocodiles or large birds could have sparked dragon stories. Cultural exchanges. The Silk Road and other trade routes facilitated cultural exchanges between East and West. It's possible that stories of dragons were among the ideas that traveled these routes, evolving and adapting to different cultures. Psychological and symbolic interpretations. Some psychologists have suggested that dragons represent innate fears or challenges humanity faces. Their universal appearance in global mythologies could reflect shared human psychology and symbolic storytelling. Ancient art and literature. Depictions of dragon-like creatures in ancient art and literature might have been based on real animals, but heavily stylized and mythologized over time. Cryptozoology. While largely considered a pseudoscience, cryptozoology often entertains the possibility of unknown animals, including dragon-like creatures, which might have existed undiscovered by mainstream science. Dragons in religion and myth. Various religious and mythological texts talk about dragon-like creatures. These descriptions are often more symbolic, but have sometimes been taken as clues to their possible existence. In summary, while the magical, fire-breathing dragons of legend probably didn't exist, our history, psychology, and the animal world have definitely played a part in keeping the dragon myths alive. Now get ready to meet some of the most intriguing dragons you've never heard of. European Dragon. Feared in tales across Europe, these dragons are quintessential villains in folklore. With their mighty wings, fiery breath, and a penchant for hoarding gold, they often play the role of a formidable adversary in legends like that of St. George, who famously slayed a dragon to save a princess. Chinese dragon. These majestic, serpentine creatures are central to Chinese mythology. Unlike their European counterparts, they are seen as benevolent, controlling weather patterns and bringing good fortune. Emperors of China associated themselves with dragons as a symbol of power and divine authority. Japanese dragon, Ryu. Elegant and powerful, Japanese dragons are water deities often associated with rainfall and bodies of water. They are revered for their wisdom and are integral to numerous Japanese folklore and religious ceremonies. Vietnamese dragon, Rong. In Vietnamese culture, dragons symbolize life, growth, and prosperity. 
These dragons, depicted in art as long and sinuous, are believed to bring rain, essential for agriculture. They are also emblematic of the emperor, representing power and nobility. Slavic dragon, Zme. Often portrayed with three heads and capable of breathing fire, these dragons are malevolent forces in Slavic folklore. They are known to kidnap maidens, demanding heroism and cunning from those who dare to challenge them. Norse dragon, Nidhugga. More a serpent than a dragon, Nidhugga resides at the roots of Yggdrasil, the world tree in Norse mythology. It symbolizes the destructive forces of the universe, constantly gnawing at the roots of existence itself. Welsh dragon, Ydraigoch. A symbol of fierce defiance, the Red Dragon of Wales is a national emblem with a rich history in Welsh folklore. It's a creature of power and pride, featuring prominently on the Welsh flag. Mesoamerican Dragon, Quetzalcoatl. This feathered serpent god from Aztec mythology is a blend of bird and rattlesnake, embodying the wisdom of the serpent and the divinity of the Quetzal bird. Quetzalcoatl is a creator deity and is associated with the winds, the morning star, and the arts. Hindu mythological dragon, Vritra. In ancient Hindu texts, Vritra, a dragon-like serpent, embodies drought and obstruction. He is known as the enemy of Indra, the king of gods, and his defeat in myth represents the freeing of waters and the restoration of balance. Biblical Leviathan. Mentioned in the Old Testament, the Leviathan is a massive sea creature, often interpreted as a dragon or a giant serpent. It symbolizes chaos and evil, representing insurmountable challenges faced by humans. Amphisbaina, Greek mythology. This unique creature from Greek mythology has a head at each end of its body. It's said to have emerged from the blood of Medusa, and is known for its deadly venom and ability to move in any direction with ease. Bakunawa, Philippine mythology. A dragon from Philippine folklore, Bakunawa is believed to be a sea serpent capable of swallowing the moon, causing eclipses. It's a creature deeply rooted in Philippine mythology, often associated with rituals and ceremonies to prevent eclipses. Lindworm, Norse and Germanic. These wingless serpent-like dragons are a staple in Northern European folklore. Lindworms are often depicted as malicious and destructive, causing havoc and demanding heroic efforts to be defeated. Fifnir, Norse mythology. Originally a dwarf, Fifnir's greed led him to kill his father for a treasure, which cursed him to become a dragon. His tale is a tragic one, central to the Volsunga saga, highlighting themes of greed and transformation. Aji Dahaka, Zoroastrian mythology. A fearsome three-headed dragon from ancient Persian mythology, Aji Dahaka is a symbol of chaos and destruction. It is said to be capable of wreaking havoc across the world, only to be eventually defeated by the hero Thraetaona. Final thoughts. Dragons, from the scorching deserts to the deepest oceans, have been a significant part of human storytelling for ages. They've been feared, revered, and even worshipped, reflecting the diverse cultures they come from. Today, we've explored just a fraction of the dragon world, showing that these mythical beasts are not just legends, but mirrors of our deepest fears, greatest hopes, and the mysteries that we're yet to unravel. Did any of these dragons spark your interest or fire up your imagination? Drop a comment and let me know. And if you enjoyed this dragon tour, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more fascinating journeys into history. Keep exploring, my friends.